So here we go, folks. Costamo in pole position, no Lombois, big gap to exploit, which Pierre Ibian is trying to do from the row, second row, as he pushes up into second place, or is he first? Here they come down into, it's Costamo, it's Costamo, Pierre Ibian, and is that Datsa? It is Datsa, I think. Over the railway line they go. What a sight. It is jam-packed as they come down into Techno Save Ukenharta. And that's a great start for him as well. They're all sorting themselves out on this opening lap of 10. And still they keep coming. So Erno Costamo leads from Pierre Ibian. David Datsa in third position. And Pierre Ibian. Well, I apologize for saying yet again, we don't really know him from his superbike exploits. We certainly do on a super twin and a super sport machine. Well, certainly British fans anyway. But Pierre Ibian, the Frenchman, showing how versatile he is in second place. David Datz is still holding third. Lucas Mora in fourth. The Frenchman Farah in fifth place ahead of Didier Grams. So over the railway bridge they go. Costamo from Bian and Bian. Not close enough. Maybe had to think. Datsa carrying the speed. But it is Kostama from Bian from Datsa. As they come down into this right left combination. Again, nice and neat from Kostama. Bian just staying with him. So we kind of see what they're like in a straight line as they come down through the dip, back up onto the start finish straight. And Bian just pulling out from Kostamo. Gustavo's name will be P1, but Bian looking to draw up alongside and try and get him on the brakes if he can. Oh, Bian is trying, he's really trying, but can he turn it in time? And can they much... Oh, and he cut his nose off there. Gustavo really cut off Pierre Bian's nose as they came in. Bian had nowhere to go. And Bian has made it through to the lead. Gustavo back in the second place. So the Frenchman ahead of the finish rider. But Costamo, as Bian just went into turn one. Oh, and that's a rider down, 38, that's there. The Frenchman Fair was going so well. So if they can move that bike before everyone else comes round. If they can get that bike removed, then we can continue, because this is developing into a bit of a cracker. So Bian from Costamo, Datsa is still in third place. Mora just losing a little bit of ground back and forth, but it's Bian who continues to lead from Costamo. Oh, they need to get that out of there soon as... Yeah, it's in neutral, so away they go. So they should have that move, so we shouldn't have any interruption of any sort into this, but a disappointment for the Frenchman, who had such a cracking start. But Pierre Ibian, who I thought was unfortunate going into turn one at uh, Huta Huvat, because he was going for that lead, but Costamo just swept across. Well, maybe, um, perhaps maybe the finish rider then realised what he'd done and allowed Bian to go through. But so far, Bian looking the part, out in the lead. That's a cracking start from him, and he's now looking to breathe down Costamo's neck as they come to start this next lap. So it is becoming a bit of a three-way fight out in front. Lucas Mora back in fourth with Didier Grams. And Joey Denbeston in sixth, Valton in close by in seventh, fourth in eighth place. Lomhard, Carlson and Gattardi pretty much all three cross the lines together. And here comes Bian, the race leader, and Datsa is looking menacing in third position. Datsa looking as Costamo looks as if he was held up slightly, and as he gets back on the power, his front wheel lifts. Bian from Costamo, from Datsa, the gap back to this battle. Another three-way fight. Mora, Grams and Best and Dembest and Valton on his own. And here comes this freight train. Hoff, Loma, Colson, Gatardi, Rato. And drop into the show. Oh, the moment Costamo just seems as if his backside was out of the seat as they drop down into that chicane. Into Kona Pico. 
along into the next one. That's before they go to Ovarco. This is the right-hand turn, Ovarco. So Bian from Costamo from Dadsa. And Bian is not pulling away from Costamo, having made it into the lead. Costamo just looking a little bit quicker than him. Bian's front end certainly goes light when he gets on the power. But Pierre Ibian, the Frenchman. From Costamo. We've had three races so far today. We've had Finnish riders second in each one so far. We had a British rider as Costamo tries to go the long way around. But it's not happening. And as I was saying, we've had Finnish riders second in both the ICGP and the Supersport 600 races. And it's a Finnish rider who's second again. We've had the British, the Czech Republic, and we'll be having the French national anthem at the end of this one. David Dats is still very much in this as well, of course. The gap back to fourth place continues to build as well. Lucas Mora still holding off Didier Grams. It's a Frenchman from a Finn, from a German. And the Swiss rider Lucas Mora in fourth place. Another German rider in uh, DDA Graham. So two Germans in the top five. Jerry Van Besten, the Dutch rider in sixth. Alton and another of the Finns in seventh. And Costamo is now leading. That's a old again. I said that Costamo I thought was looking a little bit quicker than Bian on certain sections of this course, and it looked like Bian was holding up the Finnish rider, but he's gone through. So Costamo is through into the lead on Yves Bian. Datsa is looking very menacing in third place as well. So across the line they go. To begin lap number five, we're approaching the halfway point, just three tenths of a second. And Costamo, and well, Bian is now closer to Data than he is to Costamo. back in fourth place, still battling away with Didier Grams. But it looks as if perhaps Costamo, having sat in second place for so long, and see the gap back to fourth place. Costamo from Bian from Datsa. Lucas Moore has just found a little bit of a gap over Didier Grams. Oh, and their feet off the pegs moment. Oh, my goodness. A moment, big, big moment for Joey Den Besten. Bike 65. And his feet were off the pegs for a long, long time. I was just concerned that maybe he had some kind of issue and was able to slow in time. But Joey Den Besten with a big, big issue, but he seems to be back on it now, but ahead of Didier Grams. Not too sure exactly what happened there. A little bit of a wiggle from Lucas Moura as well as they come over the railway bridge. This is the battle for fourth that we're looking at. Didier Graham's back in sixth place now, then Besten up into fifth. Lohmard is dropping down the order for some reason, not too sure why. Meanwhile, out in front, it's still Costamo from Bian from Datsa. Lucas Moura from Den Besten from Didier Graham's. Here come the race leaders, though, the top three. Gustamo, Bian, and Datsun. And a suggestion perhaps that Bian has pulled a little bit on Datsun, but so too has Gustamo. However, we're still talking half a second, the gaps between these three. So we are halfway through this Superbike race, the opening round of the International Road Racing Championship here at 
in Martra this weekend. It's the overall second round of the championship. With Kostama from Bian from Datsa. Looking back, that's Blanc on bike 401. Looking to pass Blomhard if he can. Um, just saw Marco Rato. But we're back with Datsa and Co. Still trailing Bian. Well, Castamo continues to lead this race. Again, Data just gained some ground on Bian. Bian loses ground to Castamo. Just trying to judge exactly where Bian can maybe attack Castamo or get close enough to him. That's what he needs to do first as they come over the bridge, but uh, Castamo is looking quite unbeatable at the moment as Bian drops further back towards Datsa. Maybe if Datsa can find his way past Bian, he can attack Castamo for a little bit. So Castamo, who started this race in pole position. Now leading as he crosses the line. Less than four laps to go. Oh, Lucas Mora might be about to lose to Den Besten, who's again feet off the pegs. And Den Besten goes through to take fourth place. So Lucas Mora is relegated to fifth. Den Besten goes up into fourth. Didier Graham still holding sixth place, just a few yards further back. Now, can Lucas Mora fight back at Den Besten? Certainly a spectacular rider, Den Besten. He came out of the, uh, during qualifying one, I think it was, he came out of the chicane. As he exited the chicane, went on onto the kerb, both wheels up in the air. His feet were off the pegs on that occasion as well. A little bit more measured this time as he comes down into the first of these two chicanes. This one is a little bit flatter than the next one. The next one, you just drop off the road slightly. This is the one now. So one of three parts, I believe, of this circuit, the Arno Saran circuit and Matra that is not used by public traffic during the rest of the year. Oh, now then, traffic. I was going to say about Costamo, if you're going to say you can have a second lead at this point, and he manages to get past the slower rider. So Costamo leads. And both the other two riders, Bian and Datsa, will pass the slower guy as they come down to this first turn. So... It's not really interrupted things too much, but Datsa's through to second on Bian. Datsa goes through to second place. Bian is now back into third. So Datsa goes second. Now Bian has been trailing Costamo. Has Datsa got something up his sleeve where he can now threaten the race leader? Has he been getting held up by the Frenchman? We will wait and see. Time is running out in this race, of course. But Datsa, six tenths of a second behind Costamo. And can he take it, can the German take it to his Finnish rival before the finish of this race? So here they come down into Kona Paiku. Starmer still from Datsa, Bian having led this race now finds himself in third position. is close enough it's not beyond the realms of possibility though he needs to try and just close that gap just bridge that gap as they go over the bridge still showing a six tenths of a second behind in second place Bian is in third it is between these three 
But Bian having led and having been shuffled back to second and now third place, you have to think that maybe the Frenchman will have to settle for that position on the rostrum. Meanwhile, these two continue to fight for first place. Datsa, can he close that gap on the finish rider? The home crowd certainly willing on bike 60, Costamo. And you have to say, with two laps to go, he's looking rather comfortable, even though it's just a seven-tenths of a second lead. Datsa is unable to bite into it, unable to eat into it as they go over the way away line. But I would say, perhaps Costamo not so fast through there, certainly didn't look as quick as Datsa. Weston continues to hold fourth place further back over Lucas Mora, but Didier Grams is not too far behind. But Erno Costamo, you can see BMWs all the way, but they're the older models. They're wingless. Costamo from Danza from Bian. Big, big gap back to the battle for fourth. So you can expect these three riders that Bian is losing touch with the first two and I think maybe he is now knowing that third place is pretty much his but Datsa is gaining that's down to less than four tenths of a second now Datsa is right behind Costamo as they go over the railway bridge every time they come to a corner Datsa was just trying to leave the braking just that touch later than usual and there's more traffic up ahead that they'll come across before the end of this race Let's hope it's not slower traffic that decides the outcome. Costamo from Datsa. Oh, there's quite a bit as well. And you would imagine, with just over a lap to go, they're going to come across those riders pretty soon. But Costamo leads from Datsa. It's still less than four tenths of a second. Datsa's just taken a few hundreds on that timing sector. Bian looks to be a solid third place now we're waiting for Den Besten and Mora and Grams to cross the line there they go now no change between them but however Datsa continues to hunt down Costamo on this final lap the Finnish fans are going crazy they're hoping their guy is going to do it so they should just get these guys before perhaps the chicane certainly two of them this could be tight as Datsa closes right in on Costamo. Datsa is closing and looking to maybe pull up on the inside, going on the brakes into the chicane. Here they go, down to Kainapaiku. And it is Datsa up the inside, and they've got slower traffic. And Costamo just about goes through, does he? Oh, my goodness, he's being held up. He's being held up, and Datsa, who was held up, and he's off the pegs. And I think Datsa might just have the momentum. No, he hasn't. Oh, it's all getting a little bit messy on this final lap. But Costamo, it should go his way. Slower traffic in the way. And it all, Costamo pushing. But Datsa goes through as well. One more rider to take care of, and he'll take him over the bridge. Datsa won't. So it's Costamo's race. Costamo with no bikes in front of him now. Datsa will have to settle for second position. David Datsa, well, it all just got a little bit messy, and it's getting messy again. Datsa will be swearing inside that helmet right now but Ermo Costamo is going to take the victory here in the superbike class Datsa is through Datsa will have to settle for second what a shame really because it was building and building for a classic grandstand finish as it is Erno Costamo who to be fair has led for most of the race so quite deserving victory but Datsa will feel that his chance of taking the win was taken away from him at the end. But Erno Costamo has given the home fans exactly what they wanted. Victory here at Imatra. No, I tätä odotettu vuodesta 16, että ihan perkele hienolta tuntuu, että ei tää että vielä juhla. Juhla vuosien ja Jarno 50 vuotta maailmanmestaruudesta ja Imatra 60, niin eihän tämä ole mahtavampaa. Miten äh, säikäyttikö, pelottiko sillä kohtaa, kun siinä ihan vikalla kierroksella oli se kauhea kierroksella ohitettavien suma just pahaa paikkaa sikani eteen, sulta tulla vähän ongelmia siitä? No joo, 
Aina muina kerroilla tullut, kun ne kierroksella ohitettavat, niin tulee mieleen, että tämä oli tässä, mutta tällä kertaa tuli päätetty kyllä, että tämä ei ole tässä, että pusketaan, pusketaan vaikka tuota kylkimyyryä ohi, niin, tuota, niin taisi käydäkin.